So you got your new motorcycle, now what? I'm going to tell you the must-have mods you need to do first to unlock the full power, awesome sound, comfort, and complete enjoyment of your new motorcycle. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Make sure you're wearing the gear out there to stay safe. And I have some awesome gear if you want to get it. This is my favorite helmet, ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, airbag vest to help keep you safe, gauntlet gloves, winter jacket, all my gear. I include links in the description and comment section of this video. I've done a lot of mods on a lot of different bikes over the years. Uh, especially on this custom 2019 YZ 450FX Supermoto, which I did a full build series. I have a link in the description and comment section of the video. But I tell you, there are some mods that are really a waste of money. And there are some mods that are, that are awesome for the money. But in this video, I'm going to tell you five useful mods. Video. i tell you guys the first mod, which is very useful for what I'm about to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> the very first mod you need to do if you want to unlock the full power potential and sound of your bike you need to get rid of the stock exhaust and get an aftermarket exhaust either a full exhaust or a slip on I recommend a full exhaust to get the full potential also you need to get a DynoJet ECU flash unit it's very easy you connect it up to your bike and you flash tune it, it'll set it up with your exhaust and everything and that will unlock the full power of your bike. I have a link to that in the description and comment section of this video. <laughs> oh my god! This is the best mod you can do to a supermoto or a dual sport or whatever is to make the wheels tubeless. These supermoto wheels. These were originally these wheels, these 17 inch wheels required tubes but what I did is I made them tubeless and I did a video on how to make them tubeless I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video basically all you do is you take uh, sealant and you put uh, sealant around the holes of the spokes and then you put this special 3M tape to go over it and it seals it and uh, I'll tell you guys I hardly ever have to put air in these tires I uh, highly recommend that mod. Uh, number two, I have to say, is awesome mod. It's extremely useful, and you get a lot of bang out of your buck for it. it is an aftermarket seat. As you can see, I have a seat concept seat on here that is awesome. The stock seat on a dirt bike is like sitting on wood, man. Even for dirt bike riders, they put an aftermarket seat. But for sport bike riders, even that Yamaha MT-09 that I had, I put an aftermarket seat on there and I tell you it made a world of difference and uh, you know a lot of people put aftermarket seats and I tell you it's probably what it's the best mod you can do to a bike because really what it comes down to is your comfort you know what I'm saying and um let me bust a wheelie up in here yeah baby <laughs> Yeah, busting some wheelies up in here. Wheelies. I know you guys clown on me why I say I say wheel wheelies and it should be wheelies. I say wheelies. Wheelies, baby. Yeah, baby. But number three is when I turn see I turn this turn signal on guys. You guys always call me out for it, is that I always <laughs> I never cut it off I never cut the turn very rarely like I make the mistake of not cutting the turn signal off and I look like a fool out here with my turn signal going you know what I'm saying it's not safe either to remedy that which a great mod is to do the self canceling turn signals mod which I was going to do but I never did it but there's some motorcycles a lot of, some motorcycles already have that feature in stock form but you can get a kit um, which I'll include a link to in the description and comment section of the video if you want to get one that uh, you can put the kit on yourself so that way you don't have to be a fool like me and forget to cut the signals off it'll do it for you um, I say number four it's really good for those of you guys that have 
maybe some older an older motorcycle or even a newer motorcycle where you get vibration in your bars and you put your left hand to sleep that happened to me on my uh, CBR 250R um, but if your bike uh, has the ability to be able to change out the handlebars um, to these handlebars made by FAST F-A-A-S-T company they have bars that reduce vibration it has rubber in the mounting of the bars like in the bars and it, it will reduce the vibration to your hands and they also make pegs too that are, have like rubber inserts are in them that reduce vibration greatly um, that is a very useful mod even though uh, I really the only motorcycle I had that caused vibration in the bars that was kind of irritating and put my left hand to sleep was the CBR 250R I don't remember any other uh, bikes that I had even this bike believe it or not which a lot of dirt bikes tend to have vibration in the bars and pegs but this bike actually this bike came stock with rubber mounts for the handlebars that's why there's no vibration in these bars whatsoever number five useful mod uh, that I have put on a couple of my bikes that's really awesome that's a great safety feature that will help you out here on the streets to help keep you from having a real effed up day is get the brake light when you put the uh, aftermarket uh, tail light uh, when you do your fender eliminator kit um, you can get one of course that has the integrated turn signals but make sure you get the tail light that has the strobe feature the modulating uh, light feature so when you hit the brake it'll flash the light a bunch of times rear brake nice okay, front brake I like how it modulates that's good for safety so cars see when you're stopping so it really stands out to the car in back of you that that you're stopping you know so they don't run up into your butt and set you up for a real effed up day you know there's a lot of different useful mods out there but these are just some that I kind of hand picked here that I think are really great um, if you have any mods that are really useful that you can think of Leave them in the comment section below and let's talk about it. Um, I've done tons of mods. If you want to see all the mods that I've, I've done on all the bikes I've had over the years and links to get the mods, go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and uh, click on the, li uh, the list my mods and bikes. And I have, I, I have, I've done videos on all of the bikes I've done and various mods. And I do have a playlist that's a modifications playlist you might want to go check out you don't want to spend too much money on a bike because when you go to sell it you're not going to get all the money out for those mods helpful tip make sure you keep the boxes to all your mods so that when you go to sell your bike remove all the mods and put them back in the boxes then sell them on ebay so you can get a lot of your money back another useful mod that i that's not on my list but i'll tell you about i have a really great phone holder that I use on the sport bikes when I own a sport bike um, I, I have a link to that in the description and comment section of this video it's awesome absolutely amazing phone holder for your bike you might want to go check out um, but like I said if you have any other uh, mods that you can think of that's really useful leave a comment below and let's talk about it but anyways guys uh, don't forget to subscribe to my all the motorcycle channel make sure to hit thumbs up and make sure to check out my other channel bug out moto but until next time i catch you guys later deuces check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe